In this video, I want to show you how you can use the puzzle generator to make your own double puzzles. So what is a double puzzle? Well, a double puzzle is very similar to a word scramble, except for you have the addition of a mystery word below the main puzzle. So what you would do is you would unscramble all of these words and then using the letters that are circled, you would then be able to form the mystery word below. So I'm going to show you how you can generate these with the puzzle generator. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your export tool and you need to make sure that you have version 2.8. If you don't, please check your Gumroad library or email me and I can send you version 2.8. You must have version 2.8, otherwise you will not be able to generate these puzzles. So if we open that in Excel, and then down the bottom, click Word Scramble, which will bring us to this sheet here. Now, there are three columns here, which is our words and phrases, our titles, and our mystery word slash phrase. So, what you need to do is put all of the words that you want to use in your um, double puzzle here, your titles here, and obviously your mystery word phrases here. So how this works is where you set the title, where you put it on here, will be the start of a new page. So for example, if I make this easy, if I highlight this here, all of these words here will be page one, which will be animals one, and that will be my mystery word or phrase. And then all of these here would form page two, and that is my mystery word or phrase for page two, and so on and so forth. So let's go and get myself some fresh words. Let's do, um, yeah, let's do 10 pages of 10 words which is 100, and then we need 10 mystery words. So it's 110. And then let's do animals again. Where are we? And let's do general. Uh, we can control the maximum length of characters here. Let's do up to 10 characters long. And then let's have a random sort. And then if I open that now, what I want to do is select the first hundred of these. So 100, copy that, and then put them for my words and phrases. And then what I need to do is adjust my titles now. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, so this needs to be one below. So because you're able to put in um, different titles and different words like this, this means you can create multiple um, themes in one go. There's no need for multiple generations. You can put your first batch of words and your first set of titles and then your second batch of words and your second titles and so on. There's absolutely no need to do multiple generations. So let's just go all the way down here. Animals five, animals six, animals seven, animals eight. Oh, I've missed the number here. One, two, three. Can't count four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then lastly, animals ten. Then what I want to do if I grab my mystery uh, word, so the, the last ten here. I'll grab these, copy them, 
And I just paste them there for now. So I put one there, next one there. So you gotta make sure that your mystery word or phrase is in the same row as your title. Number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, and then lastly, number 10. Put that there. Let's just clear that column. And then go back to main tab, hit submit to export. And then if we go back to the PowerPoint here. Now, first thing you wanna do is obviously choose your trim size from these preset ones here. I'm on 8.5 by 11. And before you generate, you must make sure you're on the latest version. So if you go about and about, you must make sure you're on version 7.8. If not, please update, otherwise you won't be able to use this feature. So then we're gonna to go to puzzles and then we're gonna click word scramble. And then here is our normal option for game explanation. We can, obviously this is preset for the word scramble but you can add a little bit of additional explanation uh, for the double puzzle or mystery word if you want, and then tick that if you want to include that in the generation process. I'm not going to, so hit continue. And this brings us to our generation page. Now, if you've used the word scramble um, generator um, before, you'll be familiar with this. So we have options to choose our font, size, and styling, including color for the grid letters. We can choose the title of our titles, so the size of our titles, and whether or not we want to show grid lines. We can add a left and right margin and put that in here. And then finally, we can adapt the presentation width and height to fit with our grid. If we're generating for KDP, we don't want to do that. So leave that unticked. And then this brings us to our mystery option features. So if you want to create a double puzzle, you want to make sure this box is ticked. And then our first option here is to set the color of our circles. So that's the circles that highlight which letter in each word is gonna form part of our mystery word. To change that, make sure you're on mystery option features here, and you can choose a different color from the color picker tool. Let's go back to gray. We can choose a thickness for our circles, either thin, normal, or thick. And then we have an option for our circles placements. So there is two options here, and that is ordered or random. So how this works is, if you choose ordered, it will attempt to place the circles in the same order as your uh, mystery word. So for example, your mystery word is goat. It will try to place the first circle on a G, second on an O, third on an A, and fourth on a T, so that it's not scrambled. If you choose random, then it will be in any order, and the mystery word will also be scrambled for you to solve. And then finally here, we have an option to hide alerts. So what this will do is if you have this unticked, this will alert you every time that the uh, generator has had to place a letter in your mystery word down the bottom because it couldn't get all the letters from your supplied words. And if you choose ordered, this will alert you if it wasn't, it wasn't able to um, put the letters in the right order. If you're using random, typically you wanna leave this uh, checked because otherwise, if it has to place a letter in your mystery word, you'll get alerts and you'll have to confirm them before completing the generation. So typically leave this checked and then hit okay to generate. Just wait for that process to complete.
And there I have my uh, double puzzles with my word scrambles and the letters circled, which will form part of this, uh, will form this mystery word down here. And the same all the way through here. As I mentioned before, if it can't get the letter from these words, it will automatically place a letter or more than one letter in the uh, boxes below preset. Same here and here. And then obviously at the end, you have your solutions. So I hope this quick introduction video to creating double puzzles with the puzzle generator helps you get started. Thank you for watching.